Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster. Some of you may remember a uh, talk that Nathan gave late last year. He was his talk. His talk was about when meeting people, whether or not it's important to talk about what you do for a living. So I don't know some of you were around, Tim. Tim. But it made me think about something I hadn't thought about in a long time, and that was uh, a long time ago. There was a lot of people thought that I was a dentist. I've never been a dentist. So you may be wondering why people thought I was a dentist. Because I told them I was a dentist. Now this is what wasn't some kind of evil plot where I was trying to build myself up or trying to look into people's mouths. It's because back then I'd go to a party, for example, and I'd meet people, and as soon as I told them, because back then I was a trader at the Board of Trade. And I'd meet people and I would tell them I was trading the Board of Trade. And next thing I knew, all these people were asking me lots of questions about trading. They wanted to mark what's it like on the trading floor, what's it like around all that craziness. Does everyone down there do drugs? Mark, what's a, <laughs> what's a great investment? Give me a hot tip. And it was on and on, just questions about trading, and that was it. And that was fine as far as that went. But what I found out was, I, I like to certainly get out and meet people when I go to a party, for example. And these same people would be following me around, and I'd try to have a conversation with other people, and these same people would ask me the same questions. Mark, give me a good stock tip. Mark, tell me more about trading. And I, what I realized was people, I don't think they really cared much about me, but they wanted to know more about trading. That was the only thing they wanted to talk about, regardless if I wanted to talk to somebody else. And it got very frustrating for me. Frankly, it got very uncomfortable for people just to be following me around at a party asking me more questions about trading. So this was I, this was kind of a problem for me. And I'm thinking, so I'm thinking to myself, what am I going to do? I, I, this was really uncomfortable for me. I don't want to just talk only about trading. I want to have real conversations with people. So I'm thinking about this. And it was funny about that time there was a movie that was out called Arthur. And if you haven't seen it, it's really a very funny movie. It stars Dudley Moore. And Dudley Moore is in a very rich family of billionaires. And Dudley Moore's in his 30s, and he's kind of an immature guy. He's kind of a little selfish, and he doesn't really like this lifestyle so much. He gets kind of bored with it. And so he decides when he gets kind of, he doesn't like all this, this, uh, all this glitz and glamour of being in this wealthy family. He'll just go to a, he'll go to a dive bar, or he'll go to a greasy school restaurant. When he gets there, he meets people. He tells him he's a dentist, not a, not a billionaire, he's a dentist. And because he's, he tells these people that he's just a dentist, he's talking to just regular people, he, ended, he ends up having really some very good meaningful life, uh, conversations about life just because these people think he's just a regular guy like that. And I thought, well, that's pretty cool. I think I'm going to try that. So from then on, I'd go to a party and meet people. They asked me what I did. I'd say, I'm a dentist, not a trader. Well, it's funny, when I told my trader, I was kind of into that conversation. They didn't really care much about me being a dentist, and I thought, well, that's kind of cool. So, what that really led to was, that what I realized was, if I wasn't going to talk about what I did, what I, that I was a trader, what was I going to talk about? So I'm thinking about that, so I'm, I'm thinking, what kind of person do I want to present? Of course, the real me, but what kind of person I want to present myself as what I really want. To, what are the important things I really want to talk about when I meet people? So I'm thinking about that, and I, and I thought about my grandfather, my granddad, and to this day I've never met anyone like my granddad. He loved people. So my granddad, he was just a regular guy. He was about my size. He was funny. Funny thing was, as far back as I can remember, my granddad was almost completely bald. He had a little hair on the back and the sides. But he's just a regular guy. He was a farmer when my dad was growing up. And my granddad he went through the Depression, so they lost everything. And he became a farmer. And when I knew him, when I, when I was growing up, he drove a, a fuel oil delivery truck, so he delivered heating oil to people's homes. But he loved meeting people, and he went out of his way to meet people. When he met somebody, he, he wanted to know all about it. He wanted to know, where are, you, where are you from? Where are you going? Why are you going there? What do you do? for a living. And he really loved people, he loved talking with people, he loved engaging people. And I remember I, 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 I used to watch how he would meet a stranger and just draw those people into him. I, I remember as I got a little older and I started to really appreciate 
how he could just connect with people. I would, uh, I would, we'd be out, and I'd see him. He was talking to somebody new, and I would just stand back in awe and watch him as he would start to talk to a stranger, and that stranger just warmed up and really, I could see that transformation where that person was really just pulled into my granddad, and and uh, by the time we, we talked with my granddad, he thought you just met your newest bestest friend. It was just really amazing to me. So, and when my grandfather died, in fact, he was, you know, just a regular guy. They, people said they, he had the biggest funeral that anyone had ever seen in my hometown. So, my goal is not to have the biggest funeral ever, but I want to have, I want to, what I learned from my grandfather was how to have that connection with other people, how to make that transformation really, really engage with somebody on, on, a, on a personal level. The, uh, the poet Maya Angelou, who died last year, some of you may know who she was, she, one of her famous sayings was, people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but they will never forget how you made them feel, and that was my grandfather. So, uh, why not, in this new year, make it a goal to come, become more engaged with more people, and how do you do that? It's really just three simple steps that I learned from my grandfather, and that is, be genuinely interested, be curious about the other person. The second thing is asking questions. Just ask questions. And the third thing is talk about them. And if you'll follow those techniques, you'll find that you will become more engaged with people. You'll have conversations, real conversations, that actually have no meaning. And you can even lead to making new friends. And best of all, you won't have to tell people you're a dentist. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mark.